One of the last things that go with a fighter is his power. Yep. I, I think this is a very dangerous fight for Paul. I, Interesting. I think he might be making a mistake. Because Former trainer of Mike Tyson, Teddy Atlas, has given Jake Paul a stern warning ahead of his match with the boxing legend. Paul himself has confessed that facing Mike Tyson is his worst nightmare due to Tyson's immense power. Hear what Paul had to say about Tyson during his conversation with Ryan Garcia. Yeah. When we just filmed this shit, I've never felt a hand stronger than that yeah. before. Like, yeah. And I don't know if he wasn't like squeezing. He wasn't like trying to squeeze. It was, a, it was, it was like hand. real. It was just like real. And I was like, oh, fuck. Bro, I a showbiz expert compared the boxing styles of both fighters and thinks Jake Paul doesn't have a chance against the 57-year-old boxing legend. You one, two, three, four, five, 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 five. And look at Jake Paul's right hand, right here. Jake is, is money. Experts continue to predict a tough challenge for Jake Paul against Mike Tyson, raising questions about the fairness of the matchup. Many criticized Paul for fighting someone three decades older than him. Former four-time world boxing champion and Hall of Famer Carl Frock recently shared his critical views, expressing disbelief and concern over the fight. Frock described it as a mismatch, questioning Paul's motives for facing a much older retired boxer like Tyson. He pointed out Tyson's health issues and physical limitations, accusing Paul of bullying and suggesting the fight damages the sport's integrity. Listen, as soon as I heard that, I just thought, this cannot be happening. You can't be putting a mid-20, a guy in his mid-20s, in against a guy that's approaching 60 years old. And Mike Tyson's had some wear and tear in his career. Despite Tyson's legendary status and enduring power as a fighter, Frock remains skeptical about Tyson's ability to compete at his age against a much younger opponent. He questions the merit of the potential outcomes of the fight, stating that if Paul wins, he beats an old man, and if he loses, it's to an old man. Frock also recalled an encounter with Paul, where Paul had called him out but never followed through with a challenge. Frock expressed his willingness to face Paul purely for the love of the sport, showcasing his disdain for Paul's approach to boxing. Moreover, Frock expressed concerns about the direction of professional boxing compared to the UFC's approach to matchmaking. He praised the UFC for organizing fights that fans want to see, suggesting boxing could learn from this model. However, while Frock and many other experts view the fight as a mismatch, not everyone shares this opinion. Teddy Atlas, the renowned former trainer of Mike Tyson, recently offered his official prediction regarding the upcoming bout. Atlas expressed serious concern for Jake Paul's safety in a detailed analysis on his YouTube channel. He dissected the risks involved for Paul, emphasizing the significant leap in competition Paul faces by taking on Tyson, known for his exceptional punching power and speed. The last things that go with a fighter is his power. Yep. I, I think this is a very dangerous fight for Paul. I, Interesting. I think he might be making a mistake. Despite Tyson's age, Hatless emphasized the enduring power of a fighter, hinting at the inherent danger for Paul stepping into the ring with such a formidable opponent. Atlas speculated on the varied outcomes of the match, suggesting that Tyson has less to lose. If he wins, he solidifies his legacy. If he loses, it's seen as a noble attempt at late career resurgence for Paul. The stakes are immensely higher for Paul, as a loss could significantly dent his boxing credibility while the win against an older Tyson might not earn him the respect he seeks within the sport. Atlas' analysis delved into the psychological and strategic aspects of the fight, questioning the logic behind Paul's decision to face Tyson. He pondered whether Paul's move was a calculated risk, driven by overconfidence in Tyson's diminished capabilities or a misjudgment of Tyson's enduring power. Atlas highlighted Tyson's ability to intimidate opponents and compared him to other legendary figures like Sonny Liston and Roberto Duran, considering the impact of such intimidation tactics on Paul. Another expert who shares a similar opinion to Teddy Atlas is Cha Sonnen, who believes Jake Paul stands no chance of winning this fight. Sonnen also expresses skepticism about the fight, drawing from his knowledge of Tyson's past offers and decisions. He notes the unusual nature of the fight and its unclear competitive motivations, highlighting the psychological aspect of promotion and the fight's reception. As training footage of Tyson improves, Sonnen suggests this might change perceptions further, indicating a desire to personally spar with both Tyson and Paul to provide an informed insider perspective on their conditions and preparation.
Giving out training footage of Mike. And it's looking better and better. The first couple of tapes that came out of Mike, there was no sweat. We we're led to believe that a whole workout had happened, but he forgot to splash water on his face first. Moreover, Sonnen challenges common narratives about fighting, such as the belief that a fighter's power is the last skill to diminish. He argues that Tyson's enduring footwork and technique, evident even in brief clips, contradict these narratives and paint a more nuanced picture of Tyson's current capabilities. This perspective emerged during a recent interaction with Ryan Garcia, where Paul himself admitted that facing Iron Mike wouldn't be easy. Garcia expressed his concern for Paul taking on Mike Tyson, labeling Tyson as a different animal and highlighting his physical strength and intimidating presence. Despite acknowledging Paul's strong mentality, Garcia couldn't help but express worry, pointing out Tyson's enduring power and the impact of his physical handshake, which left a lasting impression on him. When yeah. we just filmed this shit, I've never felt a hand stronger than that yeah. before. Like, shit. Yeah. And I don't know if he wasn't like squeezing. He wasn't like trying to squeeze. It was, a, it was, it was like real. It was just like real. And I was like, oh, fuck. The conversation further explored their training habits, with Garcia questioning Paul's focus in preparation amidst various distractions. Paul reassured him by offering to share clips of his training and sparring sessions. They delved into the controversial aspects of athlete preparation before fights, sharing their unconventional approaches and experiences as the discussion became more serious. Garcia inquired about Paul's thoughts on his upcoming fight with Devin Haney, to which Paul replied with faith in a higher plan. The conversation concluded with Garcia expressing his admiration for Paul's bold decision to fight Tyson, highlighting the mix of fear and respect that surrounds such a challenging endeavor. In a recent analysis, Showbiz, the adult, assessed both fighter styles and predicted an easy win for Iron Mike. Showbiz jokingly suggested that Jake Paul should consider withdrawing from the fight, emphasizing Tyson's impressive performance in his training footage. Showbiz pointed out that Tyson's training clips showcased the boxing icon's power and technique, heightening anticipation for Tyson's condition leading up to the fight. Garcia expressed his concern for Paul taking on Mike Tyson, labeling Tyson as a different animal and highlighting his physical strength and intimidating presence. Despite acknowledging Paul's strong mentality, Garcia couldn't help but express worry, pointing out Tyson's enduring power and the impact of his physical handshake, which left a lasting impression on him. And look at Jake Paul's right hand. Right here. Jake is, is money. He challenges viewers to momentarily disregard Tyson's age and focus solely on the fighter's physical conditions and skills. Showbiz argues that assessing the fight without considering age suggests a tough challenge for Jake Paul given Tyson's current form. He expresses excitement about witnessing Tyson maintain such a high level of fitness and skill, highlighting the beauty and rarity of such a spectacle in sports. Showbiz also addresses the lack of appreciation for Tyson's era and style, particularly among younger audiences. He reminisces about the effectiveness of Tyson's peekaboo style, suggesting it's a lost art in modern boxing. Showbiz shares a personal anecdote about being outclassed by an older coach in the gym, illustrating that age can sometimes be insignificant in combat sports when skill and technique are involved. The opinions from Teddy Atlas, Cho Sonnen, and Showbiz all suggest an easy victory for Iron Mike Tyson. But what are your thoughts on this fight? You also believe that Tyson's power and experience will help him overcome a young Jake Paul? Let us know in the comments. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.